G'day, I'm Mark Berg and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers all over the country with incredible fishing adventures. This week we're surprising a guy called Matthew and we're taking him to the Great Barrier Reef, one of the best fishing destinations in the world and we're fishing with Big Cat Reality. Now we were due to go tomorrow, but the weather is not good. So we've postponed this trip and we're gonna go in a couple of weeks time when we're hoping the weather will improve and we're not getting absolutely flogged out in the ocean. But right now, he's at work. We're about to meet his partner first. We're gonna wander up and we're gonna surprise him at his desk in his office just up the road. Let's go surprise our fish show. Hello, Hi. Cherie, how are you? I'm good. COVID, COVID fist pump. Hi, man. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Hi. Hi, oh, nah, not interested in the hairy man. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Really? How's he going to react? You reckon? Oh, he's going to lose his mind. You reckon? You, you've got. Oh my God, he just lives for fishing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I've got brownie points for life on this. Mate, you are sorted. <laughs> yeah. Now things have changed though. Yeah. I'll tell you. You'll find out too when we oh, get in there. Okay. Trips changed. Why? Wind? Nah, you'll see. You'll see. Let's go. Let's go I've get been him. Looking at the winds like a bloody weirdo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not good. So. They're not good. No, but anyway, we'll see. Okay. Why are you whispering? You're outside. You can't hear us. Where do I walk? Oh, look at the boat. Holy smokes. Oh, <laughs> Are you serious? No! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> How this is obviously <laughs> him. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> mate, how are you, mate? Do yourself. <laughs> You told me you had a man bun just now. I didn't cancel the whole thing, but that's okay. Mate, uh, so you obviously know this noggin. Yes. <laughs> Watch it pretty much every weekend. Were you bikes in on this? Oh, uh, yeah, I knew about it. Yeah. You knew about it? Uh, I know. <laughs> You've seen the show? Yes. I yeah. uh, hear a mad kingfish show. Yes, absolutely love you it. You come over here. Oh, right? yeah. You're going to jump in there. <laughs> <laughs> She's been freaking out. Oh, <laughs> Just as far as it goes to do. Um, we're here to take you on an incredible fishing adventure. And of course, on this adventure, you've got the opportunity to win 5,000 bucks worth of gear from Wilson. Yep. And another couple of grand's worth of gear from my tackle store, Attic Tackle. Yes. Another Seven one. grand's worth of gear. You can handle yeah. that? Yeah, absolutely. Because you can never have too much gear, can <laughs> no, you? No, no, not me anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spends his salary on it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of it. Um, Okay, so the trip. Yes. We were leaving tomorrow. Yes. Were being the optimal word. We yes. were going tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. But mate, it's blown 25 knots, yep. two meters to three meters swell, yep. and I thought to myself, stuff that. Yeah, yeah no, it's you not know, ideal. <laughs> for a week. So <laughs> we put it back, and we're doing a different trip. Yep. And we're going to take you yep. with Big Cat Reality to Swain's yep. Reef. Yes. Fishing for about six or seven days. Just literally talking about it this morning. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah. And last time I went with those guys, mate, we caught massive coral trout, yeah. red emperor, heaps of GTs. Yes. Do you like Perfect. popping? Love it. Love it? Love it. Stick yeah. baiting. Yeah. And um, we even got like a, it's like a 28 kilo uh, Spaniard Spanish. on a popper. Yeah. Um, marlin, sailfish. It was just <laughs> insane. Yeah. And it is literally day in day out so you wake up yes. in the morning you eat breakfast you fish all day i think i can do that you can handle that <laughs> yeah. now you how does it make you feel come a bit closer yeah how does it make you feel seeing your man get a, an opportunity like this oh man i'm so excited for him yeah he deserves it why why does he deserve it every wife thinks their husband deserves it why I, well not many wives would want to send their partner away <laughs> believe me there's a lot of wives that want to send their partners away Oh, he's just a good dad. Yeah. He probably is one of the, out of all of his mates, he's the one who'll probably spend the most time at home and Aww. give up some boys' things to do the dad duties, and he's just the best, and we love him, and he deserves it. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> good. Well, there you go, mate. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Yay. Appreciate it. What do you reckon, boys? Yeah. <laughs> 
honestly just can't believe my luck. And you just you enter these things and you just never expect to win them, but you obviously got to be in it to win it. <laughs> and yeah, luckily enough that Sheree entered me and couldn't thank her more really. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked. Family is actually everything to him. And that's one of the reasons I fell for him so quickly, actually. Well, mate, again, welcome to the show, COVID. Yep, Thank well done. <laughs> and uh, we will come and collect you in a couple of weeks. So you got a couple yep. of weeks to ponder. Normally we leave on the spot. Yep, that's all right. Reschedule. This is going to give you some time to really think about the trip. Get on there, Google it, wow. check it all out. Non-stop. <laughs> so you see what we're going to be doing, but we'll come and get you in a couple of weeks. Yep, sounds good. Thanks for being a member. I'm glad, I bet you're glad you are. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, honey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what good. a woman. What a lovely guy. <laughs> and it was lovely to meet you too. Thank you very much, guys. Thank yeah. you so And uh, see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Thanks mate. mate. See you guys. <laughs> Oh, it's love. Look at that. I guess it's probably the thing that just makes me happiest. Um, just being on the ocean, being with my friends, it's just makes, it's just like the thrill of catching a big fish. It just excites me. It's like surfing. It used to give me that, but fishing's just taken over and I just love it. Well, Matt, it sounds like you're on the right boat. Big Cat Reality is a 70-foot steel catamaran that specialises in getting anglers to some of the best fishing grounds in the world. It's very comfortable, the food is awesome, and we are free to explore the reef once we arrive. As we steam northeast, we cover lots of good quality fishing grounds, and it's hard to resist throwing out some skirts. But the skipper has warned us if we hook up to a fish, he's not going to slow down. So when the rod goes off, skull dragging a 10 kilo mahi mahi is the only option. Things have changed again now, so we're heading to the original destination, Ken Reef, which is around 400 nautical miles northeast from Bundaberg, around 35 hours of non stop steaming. Here we are, Ken Reef. But what I want to do is give the folks at home a bit of an insight in what to what Big Cat Reality is all about. So, um, some of the charters that I've been on over the years, you go out, you jump in a boat with a guy, they take you fishing. It's very, very expensive. Um, Big Cat's is different. Yeah, 100%. very different. Explain how it's different. Big Cat's uh, a lot different because it's a self-guided tour. So basically, we'll bring you out to the destinations. Ken Reef, perfect. Mm. Um, we give you a boat, go through a bit of a tuition on the boat, yep. and send you on your way. Yep. We're not there to put the fish on your boat, on your hook. It's up to you. It's your job. Yep. I got you here safely. Yeah, you go out on your boat on your own and you do your own thing. So we're very excited. We're going to wait for lunch, then we're going to hit the water and start our adventure here on magnificent Ken Reef. And the weather's getting better as the week goes on. The weather's going to be perfect. Yep. We've got to catch some serious fish. I work at Attic Tackle. Um, ended out here with Bergie on a trip, uh, needed a driver, put people on the fish, apparently I'm the man. <laughs> We're pretty much ready to go now, and I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but the colour of this water is absolutely unbelievable. You just know you're in an area that's completely untouched, super pristine. But the wind, well, you can see my hair blowing, it's not good. It's blowing 20 plus knots. So we've, on the inside of the reef, there's no way we can get on the outside. I'm going to work our way along here and cast back to the bombies that sprinkle their way all the way down to that sand cave. Now that the tide has changed, we'll probably get a little bit of pressure on the end of the reef, a pressure point. Hopefully we can find some fish there and get the party started. You ready? Go, big fella. Oh, I love the whip. Oh, danger! Gee, 
you take it going. Don't change your pace. He's still there. Got him. Yes. He's on. Had to be there. That's it. Good driving, Jace. Yeah, nice fish. Real black. Nice. Mario. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Good start, brother. Way to set those hooks. You can see that head thumping away there, traditional head thump from a GT. To me, it looked real black. Yeah, we're good, Jace, that's fine. Oh yeah, nice little fella. Geez, he went well. I thought he was much bigger than that. Yeah, that's it. That little fella. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, only he's got one hook in, it might pop, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah! Nice little GT, that's a very good start. Half an hour of fishing. Pretty good, eh? In horrendous conditions. <laughs> what are you going to call him for? He'd be, he'd be nudging eight oh. kilo, probably? Yeah. Seven, eight kilo? Yeah, good little fish to, to begin the trip, anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh they go over, my friend. Isn't it funny, though? Like, such a small fish, it gave you a run. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, they definitely got some power. You can imagine when you get your big 40 or whatever oh. it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great start. Right, we're going to send this fish home so we can um, get out of this spot. Beautiful. Good. Good. Spare him in. Yeah, send him home. See you, buddy. Choo. You. Number one. Congratulations. Now, That's while we're here, let's set the fishing addiction challenge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that fish is not part of it. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> so, what you need to do yep. is catch five species of fish. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Five. But they do happen to be quite large. Yes. The first one, the Holy Grail. Yeah. 30 kilo doggy. Yeah. That's what you want anyway. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A GT over 30. Yeah. All right. Very, very doable. Yes. A Wahoo over 20 kilos. Yeah. And mate, you'll get sick of catching when the weather calms down. We're on the front, there's millions of them. Yeah. A coral trout over 10 kilos. Yeah. And a red bass over five kilos. That sounds good to me. Five. <laughs> Trophy fish. Yeah, absolutely. That I'm sure if we can manage to do this, you're never going to forget them. No, nah, no, nah, nah. no chance. Even if I catch every one of those fish, I'll be happy. So that's so good. Well, what would you be doing now if you're at home? Um, probably at work. yeah, stuck in the office, working or out seeing clients. So <laughs> yeah, this is the dream, really. A little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, 100. percent Let's keep fishing. Yeah. All right, challenge is set. Um, becoming a dad just makes you appreciate life a hell of a lot more and appreciating the times on the water that you do get. Um, obviously you fish less, but then you appreciate fishing more when you do go. So, um, yeah, having a kid is definitely life changing and I love it. This wind really is getting on top of us. So the bombies that are just off the back of the mothership there, they're not producing. We've seen one little GT. There's not a lot of bait holding there. And often when it's this windy, it can shut things down. But now with the tide coming to this level, we've been able to get right up on the flats here and we can drift all the way down, cast with the wind and across these flats, often spangled emperor, long nose emperor. Um, you get really nice cod, coral trout, all sorts of ooglies, often bluefin trevally, one of the most beautiful fish in the sea and GTs as well. So a little bit more comfortable. Hopefully we can find some fish. What is absolute paradise. And I can't wait for it to glass out, folks, so you can really see how beautiful this place truly is. And this little sand atoll had fish potential written all over it. We grabbed some rods and jumped off the boat so we could try some land-based stick baiting. Good GT! <laughs> oh no! Uh, come on! I've got to get up him. There's so many rocks here. Uh, uh, oh, don't tell me. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a GT. Oh, he's in the shallows right there. Yes. No way. <laughs> How cool is that? Woo! Well 
Well done. Oh man, that was fun. Just pick the gap here between the rocks that are out here. There's heaps of water pressure through there, and that's where these GTs like to. Uh, that is awesome. That's it. That's pretty cool, eh? That is amazing. Off the beach. Oh, goodness me. Whoa. Whoa. Drag him up a little bit. I cannot believe I just witnessed that. <laughs> it's like his first cast. <laughs> so, uh, so epic. There you go. Ah, have a go with that. What a cool fish in the shallows off this little sand cay. These sand caves surrounded by rocks, they're just a, a mecca for bait. It is absolutely full of bait. So why wouldn't this guy be hunting in the shallows? Absolutely smash that lure. What a great fight that was. All right, I'm gonna walk him out, set him free. Come on, buddy. Thank you so much for that. Oh, off you go, mate. That was awesome. Love it, love this place. What is that? Didn't have much though, did it? What is that? Some sort of weird... What is that? It's a cod. Oh my gosh, what is that? Oh, what do you reckon, Jase? Honestly, I haven't a name for it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> what a spectacular looking fish. Isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it would be a cod of some sort. Uh, yeah, right. Got me. Doesn't really help the challenge, but what a cool <laughs> fish to catch. We've got to get a photo of that. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't Woo, it? cool fish. That's it for us on day one. A few little GTs, some reefies. Probably not the start we wanted, but at least we got a few fish. I think as this wind dies off, as the week goes on, the fishing's just gonna get better and better. But for now, it's back to Big Cat. Beautiful dinner, a couple of drinks, off to bed. We do it all again tomorrow morning. All right, Jace, bring us over, mate. Every night, the chef puts on an amazing feed for everyone on board. And whilst us hungry fishers fuel up after a big day in the water, you can sit back and look at everyone's photos of fish caught throughout the day. Not a bad way to finish up. I don't know, when I see him catch a fish, he absolutely loses his mind like a little schoolboy. So I think it's the thrill. Yeah, it just, he's just so stoked. Every time he catches a fish, you think it's the first fish he's caught. It's a brand new day and the wind has dropped probably about four or five knots. So that's not bad. It's a start, right? But the weather forecast as the week goes on is looking absolutely sensational. We're very excited. But today's gonna to be even better than yesterday, I reckon, lads. And our first stop is that bombie right there. So there's Big Cat, literally directly behind us. And then there's that nice big green bombie just there. And I reckon that could be our first big GT, either that one or the one behind it. Let's go fishing. Just grab your weapon, son. <laughs> do you know what I would do for you? Yeah. Throw the popper. Popper! It's down there somewhere, isn't it? Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, about uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice work. Boy can pop. Pop it! Pop it! Pivot. Come on. Right on top, I reckon. Well, the fish didn't seem interested in our topwater lures this morning, so moving between locations, we dropped some diving lures out the back and trolled around some atolls, and it wasn't long before my rod loaded up. Oh, oh, fish on! Bright red. Oh, no, look at the colour on that thing, or is it red bass? Coronation, maybe. Maybe coronation, yeah. Oh, and this jig rod's gonna make very light work of that little fish, but anyway. Oh, pretty fish. How crazy, yeah, coronation. How crazy is this fish is about the same size as the flame and lure. Look at the color. Isn't that insane? What a beautiful fish. Sensational eating fish, though. It's your lucky day, mate. Thanks, buddy. See you, mate. Meow, back to the bottom. What a beautiful fish. Not the one we're after though. So nice. not bigger. So pretty, eh? Yeah, they're just the purple on it. Yeah, trout. Oh my god, this should be full of trout. Right out, that'll hear you. Favourite lure. Oh, the other one you'll get here, I reckon, is the red bass. They love this stuff too. So one thing I didn't mention when we set the challenge for Maddie is we've thrown in a wild card. And that is, we're not gonna target these fish, but if he catches a Maori wrasse, those magnificent, majestic, big bluey green fish, they're such a cool fish. If he catches one of them, he wins the challenge instantaneously. They truly are a fish of a lifetime. You can't really target them. I mean, if you get one, you get one. Um, and they're a protected fish, so we will really look after it and let it go. But if he catches one like that, we just have to acknowledge how great it would be, and he'll win seven grand instantly. 5,000 bucks from our very good friends at Wilson, and a couple of grand from Attic Tackle. Fingers crossed for our mate Matty. Let's go fishing. You know, it really is crazy that you come to a place like Ken Reef, and you're on, I mean, it's just, it is just so beautiful. It's full of bommies, crystal clear water, and you just think it'd be fish a cast. But sometimes it's just not the case. With the amount of wind that we have at the moment, it can often shut a place down, and that's what's happened right now. It is very quiet. We've caught one coronation trout on the troll. Can you believe it? But I believe as the week goes on and this weather stabilizes, it's all going to change. Ken Reef is one of the best fishing destinations in Australia, if not the world. And I just know it will get better. But in the meantime, all you can do is just keep casting. We cast and cast, but the fish just didn't want to play. So back to plan B, trolling. Ah, my favorite type of fishing, not. But trolling does produce the goods sometimes. And this time it was Matt's rod that went off and this fish was big. Well, we've hooked a fish, a real one. We're actually heading up onto the flats because this point down here just wasn't performing. And of course, whenever you're going between locations, it's always a smart move to put out a, a deep diver. And that's what we've done. And this thing's absolutely smoked this lure. It's got some weight there, mate. A little bit, yeah. There's about 150 metres of line out, too. <laughs> that's a lot of line out. Oh, this could be your who. Not happy. So we're in about 18 metres of water, but um, and a lot of guys think they're wahoo are often in the deeper water, but they'll come all the way into these shallows, all the way along the edges of these reefs. Okay. Stubborn. I think you might need to crank that drag yeah. if it's a bit soft. Just wait till soft's running. Pretty open water here. We're still in about 18 metres, so you should be should be all right. Yeah. It seems to be sitting fairly high. 
Going. You don't have to duck. What are you doing? Oh, Just relax, relax. sit down. Melons in the way. Good idea putting the lure out, Jase. Yeah. Didn't take long. He's not just a pretty face, Jase. <laughs> you got it in this water, man. Anything can happen. You can't just draw it. No. No. That's solid fish. All right. All right. As he backs up okay. on it, make sure you keep whining. Yeah. Uh, this is no mackerel. It, it is, it's a it really big one. It doesn't feel like the head takes of a mackerel though. Right. More just holding. No, just keep going, you're right. Just keep going backwards. You're not winning at all, no. are you? Yeah, give a couple more knocks, mate. Yeah. On drag. How much? Uh, 80 pound. 80 pound, yeah. Oh, it's coming now. That's good, you got him turned. Keep him coming, nice and smooth. Let's click that drag a couple more times. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. 80 pound braid, you should be fine. <laughs> Could be a doggy. <laughs> Alright, so Jace is going to nudge the boat. Yeah, right. Face it, and then as he's going forward, you're going to whine like a crazy man. Good, good. Good, good. We're going to catch one. It's going to be a big one. Ah, oh, that's what we do this for. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. One of the things we have to tell everyone who comes on the show, stop swearing. Uh, been pretty good Fishermen swear, I'm, I'm being honest, they do. And this bike's been pretty good until now. <laughs> Dropping the F-bombs, what are you doing? Hey, it could be a doggy. Deep, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's erratic, man. <laughs> wow. It's a real fish. It's a real one, boys. When I say real one, I mean, you know. It's not a coronation trout this time. <laughs> Unless it's a really, really big one. <laughs> I don't think it's a GT either. You're not no, seeing those big, no, head, big thumps. head thumps. You'd be very surprised if it's a G. So when we get beside the boat, I'll get you to step back to this side of the boat. Yeah. And when I tell you to free spool, free spool, yeah. Jace will gaff its head, I'll grab its tail, we'll pull it over the side. Yeah. And that's it. Nice work. I tell you what, technique is everything in this situation. No, a bit spit smoother, bro. <laughs> Just take your time, no hurry. This is generally the time that fish get lost. When they get near the boat, the fisho sees them, starts, half starts pumping, just wants to get it in the boat. You've just got to chill. That's it, no stalemates. And wind down. And again. Holy smokes, this is a big fish. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this is a monster. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so good. Oh. You are going to go home this week very, very sore, my friend. Broken man. Hopefully. Broken man. That's what we want. <laughs> it doesn't want to come any further than the blue. <laughs> oh, is that where you get it to each time and then yeah. she goes again? Yeah. Holy smokes. You bro, work with those swells. Yeah. yeah. That's, it. That's it. Nice. Keep them coming. <laughs> Just got to the blue, didn't you? <laughs> The, oh, the, well, I'll go have a cup of tea yeah, and you can... Uh, the doggies uh, vibrate like other tuna? Like the hand? Uh, not really, no. No? No, they kind of... They kind of... No, not, not really, no. 
Just big, hard fighting fish. I think this is what you've got. I really do. This could be your 30 kilo doggy off, <laughs> off the list straight up. Ken Reef's known for its big doggies and more often than not, they're actually caught on the troll. But you can get them on surface and jigging, but often the guys get them on the troll. Last year here, um, one of our friends, his name is JC, he owns Liquor Legends. He got a 93 kilo doggy doing the same thing. This is not a 93 kilo one, but uh, I reckon this could be at least 30 to 40 kilos the way it's fighting. Generally something 15 to 20 you'd have up by now, I reckon. Come on, no style, mate. Let's go. Either he's going or you're going. That's it. Keep him coming. That's it. Okay, we've got... 20 metres. 20 metres, so plenty of... Yeah, yeah, okay, there's the yellow, so we should be seeing him pretty soon. Hey? He's recharging. Yeah. If it's a shark, I'm going to kill someone. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. Red, you should be able to see it now, Will. On the GoPro, we'll be able to see it. Oh, come on, what is it? Can you see it in the water, Will? Still can't see it. Is that yellow after pink? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. I just hope pink doesn't come up before yellow. <laughs> <laughs> then there's another one. I <laughs> know oh, you're close. Yeah. Wait a bit later. Yeah, that's a big doggy, mate. That's a doggy! Please, please! Please, please, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a doggy. You can just see, he's coming now. You see that, Jace? Yep. Could it be? It could be, but it just hasn't fought like a GT at that's all. Where's the head thumps? Hang on, mate. Hold on, boys. Driving, Jace. Gosh, big fish. Could that be? I don't know. I can't call it. You should be able to see it. It does look like a. Oh. So close. Holy smokes! It, ha it has fought like a uh, like a doggy, being deep in the water. I but it looks too bright. Come up quicker too. Like, yeah. Um, once it got to absolutely certain, certain depth. <laughs> That's the joys of fishing. You just everyone's guessing. What is it? What is it? <laughs> it's probably something. It's probably a sunfish. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> something crazy. Oh my lord. Yeah, thought as much as leader. Keep going. It's a big GT. Wow, what a crazy fight. It must be foul hooked, surely. Is it? Big GT. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a monster. Okay, guys, back off, everybody. You just hold the fish there. We'll come this side of the boat. Just in his mouth. Relax, guys, plenty of time. You got him? <laughs> oh my lord! It's a big dog. <laughs> okay, give me the rod, and you're going to help Jace get him over. Yeah. Ready? Okay, together, boys. One, One two, two, three. Holy crap! Look at the size! <laughs> 
isn't it? On the floor, on the floor. Oh my lord! Look at the size of that fish! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Keep your toes clean, yeah. because he might have a little. Oh my goodness gracious me! <laughs> that is a monster, and at no point did that fish fight anything like a GT. Didn't get it, not they at normally all. got those big head thumps, the whole thing, and the fact that he took so long to come up—that's why we thought it was a dog tooth tuna. That is a mo look at the mouth on that fish. <laughs> Whoa! What are we going to call that's? That's 45 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon it could be 50 could kilos. Be 50. Yeah, Scheisen Guggen. Holy smokes, bro. <laughs> You're supposed to get one, 30 kilos. Oh. I'm calling this fish. It'd be, it's got to be nudging 50, you'd think, wouldn't you, Jace? Easy. Yeah, I reckon it's 45 to 50 kilos. <laughs> it's a foot across. So <laughs> wide. It's massive. <laughs> What oh, a fish! So stoked. That is amazing. Oh, We're not going to keep him out of the water for very yeah. long. We're going to get him back in real quick. Couple of quick photos. Yeah. We'll get him back in, eh? Sounds good. All right, we're going to send him home. All right, time yeah. to go home, big fella. See you, mate. <laughs> what a fish! <laughs> Victory! Oh, Got him cruising. He He's cruising. Good to go. Mate, that so is strong, awesome. Eh? Strong so fish, strong. man. Congratulations, Maddie. That was a fish of a lifetime, and that is the first fish off the challenge. Yeah, so obviously Ken Reef is an amazing place. Just the colours and the blues, the turquoise, the everything. It's just an incredible place. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to come out here. Well guys, that brings us to the end of part one of our adventure here with Big Cat Reality on Ken Reef. Now, if you want to go on a fishing adventure you're never going to forget, check out their website below at bigcatreality.com. Check out all the different adventures that they have and I guarantee you, you'll have a wonderful, wonderful trip. Now, let's take a quick look at what we've got in store for you next week. GT's got him! That's all right. Yeah, that's fine. Big GT's on it, Jase, you yes. got him? Everyone hold on, please. <laughs> Go, Jase. Big Jeep, mate. Three. <laughs> <laughs> that is a trout. Who gets to hug a trout like that? Pack attack. Holy smokes. Well done. Thank you, Ellie. Nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, settle down, pal. So that's next week on Fishing Addiction. Make sure you tune in. Now remember, if you want to give yourself a chance to come on the show, you've got to be a member just like Maddie. Go to fishingaddiction.com.au, sign up, give yourself a chance to come on the show and get some great merchandise at the same time. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe and God bless.